Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here. I just got in the mail my VAB Rouge um, shopping haul from Sephora. I just opened it and I figured why not show what I got. So I am going to be filming a video after this. Um, so I have no makeup on yet and that's just how it's gonna stay. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you what I got because um, it's been a while since I did a haul. Actually, I mean, y'all just recently saw a haul for me. But all of those products, and even when I filmed that haul, it was like over a month ago. Um, so it's like the first little bit of stuff that I've gotten in. So I'm like super excited for it. And I kind of don't even remember what I got. So it looks like I picked up Fenty Beauty. Um, I think it's like the body glitter. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's in, <laughs> it's in the shade Who Needs Clothes. Um, oh, but it's so pretty. I'm super in. Like this was a really really big trend. Um, let's try it out. This was a really big trend. Um, last summer, and I think it's gonna be equally as big this summer. And even if it's not, I don't really care. I'm here for it. Oh, that smells phenomenal. And not at all what I was expecting. It's not, I don't know how to say this. It smells mature, but in a good way. Like, I don't, it doesn't smell like grandma, but it doesn't smell like youth, hip, which like obviously Rihanna is. Um, I really like it, but oh, I like it. It's a little greasy, but I think I've heard that it dries down pretty good. It gives just a little bit of shimmer. The lights are so bright, it kind of makes it hard to see. Um, But like... There's definitely shimmer on my hands, but it's not overpowering. I have a couple other ones. I have a couple from Soul um, Body, which is ColourPop. Um, I have a couple shades of those, and then I also have, um, oh, what's it? Oh, from, I have a sh one, like in a really pale shade um, from Soul de Janeiro, which that one's like super intense, super blinding. And so I'm super excited for this. And I think, yeah. And I completely forgot about it, but I think I unboxed it in my last haul. I have a Patrick Ta one, so I'm going to be glowy. I'm going to be shiny this summer, and I'm here for it. I'm super excited. Ooh, I, like, super love this scent. Like, that's pretty. I like it a lot. Um, So apparently this was a huge Fenty haul for me because I also picked up, Um, it looks like it is a bronzer. It's called a Lil Bronze Duo. It's a mini bronzer set, and then it has one of the cream contours, which I do have one of her bronzers um, already. I don't actually know if it's this shade or not. I think it might be. It's uh, Shady Biz, which it's like a great color, and it's nice and small, so even if it's one that I already have, um, it doesn't hurt. It's a great pale color, and it's really smooth. And what else do we always say about shades buttery it's nice and buttery and then i'm super excited for this um i've heard great things about her contour sticks it looks like it has a little bit of shimmer to it which i don't know how i feel about that um so it's not really a contour i'd use it more as a bronzer oh but it like blends away really nice like i like it like that that'd be a really pretty bronzer um i don't think that this is a full size i think this is also a small size, which I'm perfectly fine with. I have so many products. I live for travel size products because I don't go through all my products. So when I saw this, it was a, I want to say it was a pretty good deal. I want to say it was like 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks for the two products. Yes, they're smaller products, but I have enough. I'm here for it. Also from Fenty, I picked up, which I think I have one of these shades already. But again, I really enjoy it. There's a good chance I have both of these shades. But again, I'm here for Fenty lip gloss. So if I can even figure out, let me get scissors, how to break into this box. So I love Fenty lip gloss. Not only is the packaging like on point, like I think all Fenty products packaging are on point. Um, I haven't really tried too crazy much for them. I don't have any of her eyeshadows. They just haven't wowed me too much. And I'm pretty sure she just came out with uh, cream blushes which I haven't really jumped into the world of cream blushes, but I'm kind of getting into it, so we'll probably have that soon. Um, I'm pretty sure I have both of these colors already. Um, I have Sweet Mouth and I have Fenty Glow. For sure I have Fenty Glow in a small trial size, but actually, I'm gonna take it back. I don't think I have this shade. 
But like her packaging, oh, I just love it. And they smell so good. I like it. It's like a little pearly pink shade. It almost smells like a melted popsicle. Oh, I like that a lot. Mm. They're not too sticky. Like, ugh. Does anybody remember? Which I don't even know if they still are because uh, I don't use them at all anymore because they traumatized me for so long. But do you remember how sticky MAC lip gloss used to be? So I compare everything to MAC lip gloss and mm, it just glides. It's not, it's not sticky. It's not stringy. Like, oh, MAC lip gloss. Oh, I hope it's gotten better. I have not tried it though, like in years. Um, I also picked up from it's just from the sephora collection it's a lot lash fuse and curl so um i don't curl my lashes like at all um i just recently got into the world of falsies um if you saw my last video you would know that oh my gosh it's like fort knox how do you get into this like i can't it's like the plastic is super thick <laughs> i'm gonna cut myself it's gonna happen and my husband's gone at the hospital. Um, it's a call night and so he's gone and I'm gonna get stitches. <laughs> there we go, I'm in. Um, so yeah, it's a call night. So my boys are watching the movie right now. Um, he, he meaning my husband, Looks like he has a long night ahead of him. Um, so it's an eyelash curler, but then also, um, I think I put one of these on the other side and then it can help make your eyelashes and your fake eyelashes uh, mend together really well. So I was super stoked when I saw that. And then let's see what else I got. Let's do in the eyelash trend real quick. Um, I also picked up two um, liquid eyeliners, no liquid eyelash adhesive but they look like liquid eyeliners like you paint them on um again if you saw my last video i only had sorry i have a message coming in i only had um kind of like the glue bottle <laughs> what am i even trying to say um i didn't have any of the adhesive like this and so i picked up white or clear let's see what are you um i guess this is white i'm assuming it dries down clear but it's by the brand Velour. I just got makeup all over it. That's why I can't do white packaging. But do you see how it's like a paintbrush? And so you can paint it on to put your eyelashes on. And then I also picked it up in black. Because um, the original trend that was going around on TikTok is that you use black um, adhesive glue that looks like an eyeliner. You put it on almost as eyeliner. And then you stick your eyelashes to it. So like a two-in-one situation. Like I said, they're both by the brand Velour. I've never really um, heard much about this brand at all because I've avoided eyelashes for forever. So I'm just breaking into that world and we shall see how it goes. Next product I have is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youth Glow. It's super funny to me. I Let's see, probably over like the last two, ooh, I forgot I have lip gloss on me and I just like ran that through my hair. I need a makeup wipe. Um, probably over like the last, I'm just gonna, this is super dry. So I'm gonna pick up my Evian spray and just get my, this makeup wet, makeup wipe wet and wipe this stuff off my hands. Um, over the last like two to three years, I went from having dr normal dry skin to really really oily skin and when that that happened i really shied away from cream products i really shied away from like i would do highlighters but just like in the strategic places i didn't do any of like the glowy highlighters the glowy primers i mean it just wasn't for me now all of a sudden i am all about the glowy skin the dewy skin i've been embracing my glow way more i picked um, this up in shade three and so I'm going to put it on. Ooh, it feels nice. Looks like it kind of, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's going to be a lot of glow though. But no matter what, I still set everything with powder. Um, so it might be like worthless, but I've heard some really, really good things about this, especially if you're doing like minimal makeup. I really enjoy like glowy minimal makeup. Um, 
and I used to tan really easily and I already have a pretty good tan and really bad raccoon eyes already and it's April um and so I'm super into like the glowy tan look right now so hence why I picked up I mean all my products are glowy products for the most part or bronzers so I picked up Tarte C um, in shade Breezy. It's a cream bronzer. I believe this is a new product from them. I love the packaging. It's like reflecting the lights so much. It's kind of like a matte teal. And it's got a little mirror in it. But it is a cream bronzer. I have a cream bronzer, obviously from Fenty. I just got that. And then I also have a Huda Beauty one, um, which the Huda Beauty it's pretty dark, and so I haven't really played with it too much. This seems like a nice, ooh, that's like super, super balmy. Like it looks, I mean, obviously untouched, but then just the heat of my finger, you can see how much like, ooh, and it picked up a lot of color. Ooh, I love the shade, and that blends out beautifully. I'm super excited for this, like super. Again, I picked this up in the shade breezy it looks like um or no I'm sorry maybe the product's called breezy because now there's a shade up here um I think it's supposed to say she's 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 no <laughs> why can't I say this seashells seashells okay get it like the shells by the sea but they spell it S-E-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S. -E -E and so I literally can't say seashells looking at this. Say shells. I think it's what they're called. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Can you tell it's like, I was going to say, can you tell it's late? It's like eight o'clock. It's not late. I'm just a dumb dumb. It's not my fault. We're in isolation. I'm not supposed to be smart right now, okay? It's enough just to keep me and my children alive and doing homeschool and picking up after everyone all day, every day. All right, so my last two products. Oh my God. You can laugh at me all you want. It's okay. Um, my last two products were actually um, like free products that I got from Sephora. Um, I picked up First Aid Beauty, which they are a wonderful brand. My uh, best friend Shalimar turned me on to them. And everything I've tried of theirs, I have absolutely loved. Um, this is the Ultra Repair Cream. It's an in intense hydration for dry, parched skin. Um, like I said, I tan really easy, which means I also burn really easy. Um, I The other day, I was um, exfoliating my skin, and I had a really bad dry patch up on my forehead. And, like, my skin was peeling really bad, or pilling more so. Um, and, so, like, I try to be really good about sunscreen and wearing hats, this sunburn totally caught me off guard. It was one of those like overcast days, so I didn't even think about it. We were sitting outside with the neighbor kids and we were all making like friendship bracelets. Like we were all sitting distant, like trust me, we all understand. Um, and it was super fun and I got so sunburned. It was so embarrassing. Like I sent my friends the pictures like later on that night because I was like so cold but so hot and so I was like oh my gosh do I have a fever and then Ben looked at me and was like go look in the mirror and I literally was a lobster with the brightest white eyes ever from my sunglasses and then I was wearing of course yoga pants and so I still have the worst tan lines from my yoga pants because I think I had sneakers on and so then I had like white feet up into my ankle and then like four inches of leg that was like burnt and then it went straight to white because of my legging so it was ridiculous but this will come in handy the next time I get a sunburn because it will happen um and then this is from the brand pharmacy which I've heard of but I've never tried any of their products um it looks like this is what it, it says oh makeup melt away cleansing balm perfect this is a great little trial size I was super smart to pick this up this would be good for traveling if we ever are able to leave our homes again. I guess, throwing that out there. All right guys, that is it. That's all the products I picked up for this uh, VIB Rouge sale, which I think is still going on. Um, VIB Rouge, we got access earlier than everybody else and we got 20% off. And there's two different tiers and you get 15% off or 10% off. And the dates differ. Um, just look up your local Sephora, which I think all the stores and sales are closed. But Sephora.com is still open and they ship their products because I got my products. So, yes, 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to see more of this hot mess. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye.